We have some late night breaking news on Dolphins today. Miami is re-signing cornerback Nick Needham. This coming in from Mike Garofalo just moments ago saying the Dolphins agreed to terms with cornerback Nick Needham on a one-year deal worth just under $2 million. Source says Needham stays in Miami where he's played since signing as an undrafted free agent in 2019. And folks, this is why you subscribe regardless of where I'm at. If the Dolphins make a move, we're going to get you guys a video. What, it's about 11 o'clock Eastern time? Doesn't matter. Uh, you know how you know how we do it here at Dolphins Day. We're going to get you guys a video. So subscribe, turn on your notifications, uh, because we're going to start to see some more moves uh, that go down uh, in Miami. It's obviously been a wild day. We'll kind of uh, revisit some of the other signings that happened today here in a second. But first... Let's talk about Nick Needham, and I'm a really big fan of this move. In my perfect free agency plan video that was posted last week, one of the things I said to do was to re-sign Nick Needham. Chris Greer has done that. I really like Nick. He's been a solid, reliable player in this secondary uh, for the last several seasons. Now, he was having a pretty productive year, but in week six against the Vikings, he tore his Achilles. He was out for the year, impending free agent. A lot of us did not know uh, what was going to happen with Nick Needham, uh, but he is back in Miami. And I keep saying this, value deals, right? David Long, two years, $11 million. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, one year under $2 million. One year, $2 million for Nick Needham, who's a really solid backup corner. I'm a big fan of this signing. Go down and grade the signing of Nick Needham, who is back in Miami. Type A, B, C, D, or F in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. Uh, so when that break comes, go down, chime in. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about the Nick Needham signing. Uh, he was placed in injured reserve on October 19th. Uh, last offseason, uh, they placed a second-round restricted free agent tender on Needham. So he was a restricted free agent uh, coming into this offseason. Uh, but he ends up uh, just signing with the Dolphins, and he is going to be back in Miami. 2021, uh, he played a full season, 17 games, had two interceptions, one fumble recovery, 59 tackles. Uh, he had 50-plus tackles in his first three seasons. Um, I mean, again, this guy was an undrafted free agent, was kind of a Cater Kohu before Cater Kohu, right? <laughs> Exceeded expectations, not only made the team, but had an impact on the team. And this year played in the six games with five starts. Uh, kind of helped fill the void of Byron Jones, but then he goes down with that torn Achilles, and that was a big loss. He was having a good season uh, with 21 tackles in the first six games of the year started five of those first six games for Miami and you heard him say in an interview I forgot who's with but he did say in an interview after the season uh, that he'd like to be back in Miami and you hear a lot of guys say that right Jeff Wilson Raheem Mostert you know you've seen some guys resign uh, and that says a lot about the culture that Mike McDaniel has helped create in that locker room and even the outside guys it seems like want to be in Miami Jalen Ramsey uh Officially uh, got traded to the Dolphins today. He signed the dotted line, restructuring his contract. Um, and you saw how excited he is to be in Miami. So it says a lot about the culture in that locker room. You have uh, the guys that are there wanting to come back and the guys that are not there uh, wanting to be uh, Dolphins. So Nick Needham's back. And I think the secondary set. I, I really don't think they need to sign anybody else. Uh, I'm going to go through the corners here, uh, but this is one of the best secondaries in football, in my opinion, if not the best. Xavier Howard, Jalen Ramsey, okay, uh, Nick Needham, Cater Coe. Those will probably be your two nickelbacks. You have True Williams coming back. Uh, you uh, have Deshaun Elliott now. Brandon Jones, Javon Holland, Verone McKinley, Elijah Campbell. Noah Igbenogany, don't think he's going to make the team, especially after this signing. So uh, that secondary is solidified. Uh, again, I don't really think they need to go out and sign anybody else. And I said that after the Jalen Ramsey deal. I'm like, look, you're, you're pretty set here. Bring back Nick Needham and let's ride. Uh, but this, this cornerback room and just the secondary in general, when you include the safeties, is absolutely fantastic. And Vic Fangio taking over as the defensive play caller 
is going to put these guys in the best possible position to succeed. I know the defense was not good last season. I know X had a down year. I think injuries contributed to that. I also think um, that Josh Boyer's defensive scheme uh, fit into that. Uh, he had a lot to do with that as well because you look at a guy like Bradley Chubb. He's tearing up in Denver. He gets traded to Miami. doesn't really put up a whole lot of uh, stats. Uh, so I I'm really excited about Vic Fangio. I think he's just going to bring the best out of everybody on this defense. The secondary set. We'll see what they do at defensive line. I think they need to add some depth there. John Jenkins is a free agent. Um, do they bring back Andrew Van Ginkle's an edge rusher? We'll see. Probably not. It's looking like he might leave. But the defense is looking really good. You know, we're, we're still going to see a few moves defensively. You know, they'll probably draft a linebacker, maybe draft a defensive lineman. Uh, but I think the secondary is, is ready to rock and roll. And again, do not forget about True Williams. He's a fantastic player. Was looking great throughout mini camp, training camp last year. Played great in that first preseason game. Uh, but then had that uh, had that knee injury against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in that first uh, preseason game and uh, was out for the year. Uh, but late night breaking news for you guys. No, we do it differently here at Chat Sports. Uh, Dolphins re-signing uh, Nick Needham on a one-year deal under $2 million. So I'm not good at math. I, I can't figure out the cap space right now, but the Dolphins still have, still have a decent amount of cap space to go out there and make some moves. Uh, if y'all missed it, my updated free agents target video... Uh, went out earlier today. Number one on that list was Orlando Brown Jr. He has found a new home in Cincinnati. So it's nice to see the Bengals addressing the offensive line for Joe Burrow. Uh, the Dolphins are not doing the same. Uh, they have not signed an offensive lineman. Uh, they have brought back Kendall Lamb, so it's in-house. But in terms of just going out and finding offensive linemen to bring in, uh, that is not something that the Dolphins have done. And it's frustrating because if Tua Tungavailoa does not stay healthy, I don't think the Dolphins do much. So they got to go out and, uh, and and get an offensive lineman here. I don't know who that offensive lineman is going to be, uh, but hopefully we uh, we wake up tomorrow morning and, and there's some good news on that front. Uh, we'll close out today's show by just recapping the moves made today. Uh, they started the day by re-signing offensive tackle Kendall Lamb. Uh, details of that deal uh, still pending. I'm guessing it's a one-year uh, contract because uh, he's going to be on the bubble in terms of making this team. Uh, they re-signed uh, Miles Gaskin. That was shocking. I did not see that coming. Uh, so they brought back all four running backs. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, one of the more underrated signings of the day just across the league. One year, $1.77 million. He was a starting safety for the Lions uh, last year. He's going to be the third safety on this team behind Javon Holland and Brandon Jones. Um, you also, uh, I'll pull it up because they made a lot of moves today. Uh, Hard to keep track of all the moves, quite frankly. Uh, I mentioned Gaskin. Um, and then this latest move, them re-signing uh, Nick Needham uh, to a deal uh, to be back in this Dolphins uh, cornerback room. Um, but yeah, a lot of moves made today. You know, I, I said on Twitter this morning that I just felt like it was going to be a busy day for Miami. Uh, and sure enough, they make a lot of signings. Uh, Freddie Swain, uh, yeah, Freddie Swain was the guy I couldn't think of. He wasn't a signing, technically. He was claimed off waivers, uh, but he's back in Miami. Uh, and then Eric Saubert, the tight end. Uh, that video he put out about the three guys they signed, Saubert got signed right after he put that video out. Uh, I put a short out on that, so check that out if you haven't seen it. He's a good blocking tight end. It was Denver's second tight end this past season, 15 receptions. Um the stats, I don't think, tell the full story with him. I think he's going to be really good as a blocker on this team. So, yeah, they haven't done much offensive line-wise, but they did get a really good blocker in the building in Eric Saubert, and I think that was important for Mike McDaniel uh, to have a blocking tight end to, to help replace Mike Kosicki. I would not rule out them signing another tight end, drafting a tight end. I really want them to go after Darnell Washington. Uh, but Saubert's a really solid signing, and we're, we're still awaiting the contract details there. So, Busy day for the Dolphins. A lot of signings. Appreciate you guys staying locked in here to Dolphins today. We're going to continue to have you covered. So go down, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, but just grade, grade the day for the Dolphins. A, B, or, well, I already told you, obviously, yeah. Scale it 1 to 10, uh, the day for the Dolphins. Um, it was a solid day. Um, didn't get Jordan Poyer. Didn't have an offensive lineman uh, to get signed, but... Uh, still a pretty solid day for the Dolphins, I think. I think this is uh, this has been a good week for Miami. That Of course, it all started uh, with the Jalen Ramsey trade. So appreciate you guys watching. 
Uh, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.